I always wanted to try track bow mouse. Never got a chance. And since at the moment I'm working on a lot of video and audio editing and needed a few more buttons to make my life a bit easier, I figured it was about time to try one. And here we are. You, me and the Kensington Expert Mouse Trackball. I'm Max from Lifehacker Max presenting the unboxing, review and first impression of my first trackball experience ever. Let's get to it! I chose the expert model from Kensington because they have 30 years of trackball experience. It says so on the box. The mouse comes well packed in a thermoform protective plastic that keeps it in place and protects the components from any potential damage on handling or shipping. There is no manual inside, but instead you get a bunch of informational leaflets. Which is ok, I never read the manual anyway. If you would like to read the manual, you will find the link on the leaflets among with other useful information like the link for the software, Federal Communication Commission statements that say how this device may interfere with other devices and what to do in case that happens, and a 5 year limited warranty that says Kensington will replace or repair the defective unit in case of defects in material or workmanship. It also states that this warranty may or may not be applied depending on the warranty regulations of your country, so yeah. Inside the protective shell is the wired mouse alongside with the wrist rest which comes in its own little plastic bag. The ball is also well secured from any damage with a white foam shipping guard and a marked strip of plastic that says to remove the guard before use. The expert trackball looks fantastic. The wired version comes in a grey theme. The body and the buttons have a metallic dark grey with a silver insert. The scroll ring, the wrist rest and the cables are all black. And the ball, the ball is something else. It's made of some sort of resin and the dark grey metallic inserts look like they're floating inside. It makes you feel like a wizard with a magic orb in your hand that allows you to dominate puny humans and other living creatures. See the past, the present and the future, it doesn't. But it's a fantastic looking piece in this design, even if it's just a ball after all. Moving on. The cable is 1.8 meters long, enough to reach my desk from the PC. And because the mouse doesn't need to be moved from its position, it won't be a bother and I don't have to worry about changing or charging the batteries anymore. The wrist rest comes as a free bonus with a note inside congratulating me on my purchase. It says that the mouse can be used with or without it and suggests trying both ways to determine which configuration is best suited for me. I personally prefer the wrist rest because I can reach the buttons better. Maybe someone with a bigger hand would prefer it the other way around. It is very easy to attach, there are two pins that secure it to the trackball's body. It is made out of a rubbery foam that imitates leather and it doesn't feel cold as the glass feels early in the morning. The mouse is ambidextrous, which means you can operate it with both right or left hand depending on your preference. The ball, the main attraction of this gadget, the eye of the dragon, it's big. With 55 mm in diameter and weighing 110 grams, it makes it the second biggest ball in the trackball industry so far, at least from what I found on Wikipedia. The whole thing, the body, the ball and the wrist rest reaches about 400 grams altogether, which in my opinion makes it very stable. Both the trackball and the wrist rest have a great grip on my desk, so there is no chance that the mouse will slide unwantedly. Kensington advertises their trackball as, quote, incredibly customizable, remarkably precise, extremely comfortable, favorite among power users. Trackball requires less desk space since the unit itself remains stationary, and because trackballs require less wrist movement, they're ideal for people who experience discomfort with traditional mice." End quote. And I have to say, by the time that I'm editing this video, I'm already using the trackball for two weeks now, and so far I'm impressed. It took me no time at all to get used to it. I think that it's also due to the fact that I'm used to using a touchpad on my laptop. It is kind of the same thing, but better. With the trackball, you get much more control over your pointer, and it feels more natural. 
I can reach all four buttons with ease, and the software, which is indeed incredibly customizable, makes them extremely useful for me. But we'll get to the software in a second. I don't know if it's because it's a fresh new experience or not, but I find the workflow to be much more enjoyable and relaxing than with the normal mobs. There is one thing though that I didn't like about the expert, the scroll ring. In my opinion, the scroll ring feels kind of cheap and it's a bit too noisy for my taste. I have to say that on that one, I prefer the clicking feel and sound of my normal mouse. Anyway, all the other features that the expert brings to the table make the noisy scroll ring bearable. And who knows, maybe someday I'll hack it to silence. Wink. The trackball is plug and play, so it will work right out of the box. No drivers needed. But if I want to get more than the basic functions, I will have to download and install the Kensington Works software. With the software installed, I can customize my trackball's every function. The four buttons which also have two combos by pushing the two upper or lower buttons together at the same time, the speed and acceleration of my pointer which allows me to make more accurate movements when I'm editing video frame by frame, and the scroll ring speed, inertia and orientation. And that's not all! I can customize those functions for each individual application that I use, if I choose to. This means that I can set up the buttons to do one thing when I'm using a program while doing something different in another program. This is how it works. I go to the Applications drop-down menu and click on the plus button to choose the application for which I want to have customized functions. I'm using Wondershare Filmora to edit my YouTube videos, so I will choose this application to demonstrate. When I'm editing my videos, I'm doing a lot of cutting and deleting from the rough footage, so usually I have to go back and forth to my keyboard to do this. The software allows me to use those keyboard shortcuts on the trackball buttons. So I will set up my buttons this way. The right top button will be the scene cutting button, which is Ctrl B on my keyboard. The top left button will be the delete button for deleting a scene. The top combo buttons will be the undo. The bottom combo will be the space button on my keyboard, which is the play and pause shortcut in Filmora. I leave the left and right click untouched. I'm also setting the pointer speed to move slower in Filmora for more precise movement, while the other applications have the pointer's speed set up fast and the buttons set up to do completely different commands. You can see right now that the cursor is moving pretty fast. Well, if I go to Filmora you can see right away that the cursor is moving very slow, very very slow. I exaggerated a bit with the speed settings for demonstration purposes. Now, while I'm in Filmora, I can play and pause the video, cut the video where I need and delete the unnecessary footage from the timeline without touching the keyboard. And if I go wrong, I can also undo the actions with the top combo buttons. If I go to my browser, the speed of my pointer suddenly goes up and now I can use the middle click again, play and pause the video and turn the volume up or down all without using my keyboard. And since we're all here, let's all take some time and click on the subscribe button and like button as well. That lets me know that I'm doing a good job making content and motivates me to go ahead and do another video. I'm making videos on various topics, so be sure to check out my channel for all kinds of different cool videos, ideas, life hacks and much more. Well, that was my unboxing, review and first use impression of the Kensington Expert Mouse Trackball. If you want to see more unboxing videos or videos on other topics, let me know in the comments and I'll see what I can do about it. Thank you for watching!